Ah, good morning. I hope you had a restful sleep, and I do apologize for the disturbance. Hopefully you recall requesting this wake-up call. And while we iron out one or two technical difficulties, I hope you don't mind this somewhat personal touch. Breakfast is being served in our restaurant downstairs. I'll let the host know you're on your way. Uh, and please, enjoy your stay. Good morning. My apologies. The elevator will be back up and running soon. Why not enjoy some breakfast while you wait? Now there's someone who knows how good our famous breakfasts are. Sorry to report the weather has taken a turn for the worst, but don't let that spoil your appetite. Please, make yourself comfortable in the restaurant. Morning. Hope you enjoy your stay. A very good morning. Good morning. Your reserved table is ready when you are, and please mind your step. Seems one of our guests left in something of a hurry.
Hello? Hello? If you can hear this, hide your phone now. Now, hide your phone right now. Don't let the staff know you have this phone. My name's Cooper. I believe you're being held here against your will. I'm gonna try to help you, but you must do everything I say. I'm gonna send an update to your phone. This will let you receive calls from me automatically. So you can just focus on trying to act naturally. Sorry about... Oh, shit. Shit, the signal's being blocked. Uh, just... Oh, hold on, I can fix this. Okay, if you can hear me, make your way to the elevator. The main elevator should be upstairs. Get to it. We're short on time. If you're at the elevator, then the tracker and the phone is working, and with any luck, the elevator should be working again too. You never know, this might be easier than I thought. See if you can call the lift, and I'll see if I can get you out of here before anyone knows anything. there. All you have to do is get to the roof. Give it a go. Oh, bollocks. That means I couldn't upload the credentials you need. You're going to have to hack the system from within and... Okay, everything you see, everything you hear is going to sound crazy, but, well, hopefully not everything, but we have to put things right and that starts with you. Your mind, it's fragile and complicated so we have to do this one step at a time I have to let you remember at your own pace I promise I'll do whatever it takes to get you out of here I swear it now somewhere nearby there should be a door that doesn't match the others your phone will let me know when you found it I'll call you back Sorry, I need to be a bit obtuse here, but it's, it's crucial you remember at your own pace. Find a door that has something next to it that the other doors don't. Oh, from the readings I'm seeing here, looks like you found it. Uh, through that door is an access point leading to an authentication challenge. It's, oh, it's hard to explain, but this is how our QA technicians could get out if anything went wrong, usually. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, the last code I had for this door was 1782. See if it works. Oh, crap. That means all the access points have been reconfigured too. We're going to have to do this manually. Okay. In case any of our early testers got locked in, keys, well, clues, were left to help them get into these access points. This whole place is about conformity. Everything's designed to provide a uniform experience. So what you have to do is find anything that stands out that looks different, but not so much that the staff here would remove it. Uh, 
look out for something, anything different that, that stands out, but that could be hidden in plain sight. That means the clues have survived the reset cycles. We've still got a shot at this. Ahead of you, another door will lead to the authentication challenge, which you have to complete on your own. I won't be able to reach you inside. The device you have, it's not just a phone, it's... Look, this is hard to explain quickly. Um, you'll be able to absorb and exchange certain colours. I know how that must sound. Things should make sense when you're in there. Good luck. I'll be waiting.
back and based on what I can see here well done I knew you'd be all right in there right now everything's powered down until the next cycle the only way to reset it is to return to your quarters your, your room and sleep this place this place is built around you I can't say anymore until you see it for yourself but we will get you out of here whatever it takes get some rest we'll speak tomorrow
we're still connected. That's a good sign. From here on, if we're going to make any progress, it's important not to break any patterns, to not draw attention. Oh no, act natural. Ah, good morning. I hope you had a restful sleep, and I do apologize for the disturbance. Hopefully you recall requesting this wake-up call. And while we iron out one or two technical difficulties, I hope you don't mind this somewhat personal touch. Breakfast is being served in our restaurant downstairs. I'll let the host know you're on your way. Uh, and please, enjoy your stay. got away with that one. Head down to the restaurant as before. We have to get this cycle started before we try to subvert it. <laughs> Sorry, that was uh, overly technical. Um, the hotel runs to a specific timetable based on fulfilling your basic physical needs. In the morning you have to feed, at night you have to rest. Until you do these things the hotel sort of stops and waits until you complete these actions, even if they seem a bit well, arbitrary. It's just how this place was built. Now there's someone who knows how good our famous breakfasts are. Sorry to report the weather has taken a turn for the worst, but don't let that spoil your appetite. Please, make yourself comfortable in the restaurant. A very good morning. morning. Your reserved table is ready when you are. And please mind your step. Seems that Mr. Crow left in something of a hurry. Armstrong from St. Luke's school, again. I have to tell you that poor little Robin has had a terrible fever since arriving this morning. It'd be best if someone could collect him. He should be at home. I hope everything is to your liking. Oh, you should get going. I don't know how long you'll have access to floor two. <laughs> That's if you have access to floor two, I am. Um... Oh, damn it. I have to go get to the elevator. Say you're not the only one keeping up appearances. the moment of truth. See if you can access floor two. Yes. Uh, uh, good, good. The credentials are surviving the daily reset and so far it seems you are too. I've got a shot at pulling this off. Getting you out of this bloody place. Uh, there should be another access point up here.
remember to look for anything that distinctly stands out. You're looking for another keypad. I am getting some strange readings here. Hold your phone out in front of you. That's weird. <laughs> your phone scans these clue assets, letting me see them. And if I can see them, that means they're on the system. But this isn't like any of the hint keys that get left for QA. Oh, worry about that later, I guess. Um, if what you've scanned is legit, then somewhere in this godforsaken place, someone makes a note of the weather. Find them. I'll monitor your progress. Look, whoever it is you need to find, there's no one up here. So, I'll head for the lobby now, I guess. Hello there. You know I do believe the weather might actually be on the mend. Speaking of dry spells, I trust you'll be attending the big show this evening. Hold on, did he mention the weather? His office is by the ballroom. See what you can find. Hello there. You're a bit early for the show, but the manager most certainly shares your enthusiasm. I hope we'll see you here later. Hello. 
I thought you were the manager for a moment there. The show starts later. No doubt he's mentioned it to you. He does so love a good illusion. Hmm, sounds like the hotel manager is quite a fan. Have a look around. Sounds like there's another room close to the stage. You might find what you need there. I'm getting some bizarre readings in your immediate area. That There must be something here. This, this is completely against protocol, leaving this out in the open. Just uh, there, 5382, that's what I, we need. Get going quickly before someone sees you. Go elevator now. I didn't realize your room was on this floor. Oh, sorry. Um, I'm under a lot of pressure. But this isn't about me. This is about justice. About getting you out of here and... Oh, shit! Sorry, I... Yes, I'm not, I'm not sure the root cause. I've put a ticket in with IT. No, 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 no. I can manage. Thanks. I hope you realise soon what's at stake here for both of us. 5382. Good luck. <laughs>